Zoom with Schoology. So I've already set up my account using my K-12 email address. That's important because you lose that 40 minute time restriction. I am in my home on the desktop version. You can download it. Uh, it does not require a password. So students are gonna be able to do that as well. I would recommend choosing schedule. Time-wise, it doesn't really matter, but it's a good idea to still include that. Uh, it may be a recurring meeting, so it's always the same time. I'm gonna uncheck that. I would recommend though is switching the meeting ID to personal meeting ID. Uh, everything else you don't really need to worry about. I am going to go ahead and schedule. Uh, it's gonna ask if you wanna prompt it in the calendar. Right now I don't care. So now my meeting schedule is right here. I can start it whenever I want. So again, it starts in eight minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And you'll notice the first thing is I am the only one in here. Uh, so I'm going to want to invite. Again, the reason why we wanna use that personal ID is here is that invitation. So I'm gonna copy it. You can also go here and copy URL. So I've made this copy. So now I'm going to go into Schoology. Under materials, I'm gonna go add materials, add file, link, external tool. It is a link. Paste the link, Zoom conference, or whatever makes sense to you. Hit add. Now if I can jump to my student view really quick. Student's gonna be able to click on courses, materials, scroll down, find Zoom conferences. Probably not gonna be able to do this simply because I'm already in a Zoom session, but all these prompts are gonna pop up and they're gonna open and then this will pop up and they're gonna be able to type in their name and then they will be on the Zoom meeting. Again, I can't do that because I'm currently in a Zoom session already.